Hey guys, I am back with another video. Woohoo! Oh, sorry I didn't get back to you sooner. Um, it's been a kind of crazy week. Anyway, um, it finally stopped raining today. It's been raining for like the last five days, it seems like. <laughs> it's a little crazy. I was like, God, just stop raining. Anyway, um, I know I told you guys I went shopping with my mom uh, last Sunday. And I promised to show you the shoes that I picked up. So I have those here. Um, I was right. It was White Mountain, the first pair. I just love these. These are really cute. They, they remind me a lot of Birkenstocks. Here they are. They're just, you know, they've got the, the nice bottom on them. So here's those. I thought they were very cute. They're leather and they, they have this cute little braid on them. If you can see that up close there. And you can see they've got like the the little toe grip thing and they've got the thing for your you know the little squishy thing for your arch and that but yeah that's those but they were really pretty very hippie style which is my style of thing and then of course my mom who is just as big of a shoe fanatic as I am <laughs> she found these sketchers which are just totally cute they have like remember I said they have the tapestry kind of look to them um, and they have Velcro, which I normally never would do, but these are really comfortable. And I mean, they're they're very flexible, um, have a nice thick sole on them. I'll, I'll probably have both of these pairs for like 15 years. But um, but this is like uh, canvas, I guess. Kind of like canvas. It's, it's a, a thicker cotton. It's actually really soft. It's really nice. But there's those. Sketchers. I like these. Again, got that kind of hippie vibe going on. Oh, I can't wait until I can wear sandals every single day. <laughs> um, oh, in the Natural Life store that I was, or the Natural Life website I was telling you about, here is the bandeau thing. This is the uh, little cardboard thing that it was on. And Natural Life, um, they've got a really nice website. I actually just got their catalog yesterday. But this is the Bandeau. I love these colors so much. How pretty is this? And you can wear it as a shirt because it's it's pretty long. You can see how long it is. So you can wear it as like a top. Um, if I did that, I would put it under like a low-backed maxi dress or something. Um, I think that would be really pretty to have these colors hanging out. Or you can fold it up. And wear it as a headband, so you've got, you know, you've got that thing there. Ooh, now my head is all crazy. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very stretchy. Um, very, I love the colors. Can you see the colors? So pretty. The tie-dye thing. But, yeah, check out naturallife.com. I think, I think it's just naturallife.com. Uh, it looks like, yeah, naturallife.com. Check them out. They've got some really good stuff. And you can actually find their stuff in a lot of different stores. Um, I, we were out and I saw some at Joseph Beth's bookstore. Um, my mom actually <laughs> bought me some of their chip clips for Christmas. And um, they're like four little, um, oh, what do you hang clothes out with? Clothes pins. And they have little cats painted on them. But uh, yeah, they're, they're from Natural Life. Um, and I, she probably bought them at the bookstore or somewhere. But yeah, I'm sure you can find this stuff at like a Hallmark store or, you know, just, just look on their website. Good stuff. Um, today, I ran up to the grocery store. <clears throat> and for those of you who don't know me, I am a crochet and yarn fanatic. My grandmother taught me how to crochet when I was seven. And I've been doing it ever since. I absolutely love it. There was several years when I didn't do it and I got back into it because I saw like how awesome all the new yarns are so I picked up Crochet World today this has some really cute patterns they had a um let me see if I can find one of them here and those you know any of you who don't crochet look how cute this bracelet is I love this stuff and it's really easy to make you can make your own stuff you know it's super easy there's all kinds of ooh, all kinds of tutorials on YouTube on how to crochet look at that and believe it or not that's easy that is an easy thing to do um, that's just like 
the well it's not really pineapples but yeah that's actually a really easy thing to do um but there's this one bag in here that i just absolutely love because it's like the oh, here fish a fish pillow love that so cute um Keep in mind, I have a niece who is about to turn eight, so I'm always looking for stuff to make for her. Cute little sunglass bag. Um, and this is Crochet World magazine. It, it's really, really good. And the cool thing about these are that you can look in the back and it shows you everything that's in the issue. Can you see that? This is the purse that I want to make. It's got like little waves and a starfish on it. Let's see if I can find it here. And, and, and it tells you what pages they're on. So hey, here we go. 24. Let me find that. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the colors in that. And of course, you don't have to go by the colors they have. You can pick out whatever you like. Let's see. Oh, God. I love the watermelon placemat. How adorable is that? So cute. Here we go. Here's the bag. I just love this. It's like a little beach tote bag. How adorable is that? Oh, I can't wait to make that. Seaside tote is what it's called. And it looks like it's all just, oh, let's see, chains, probably single crochets, double crochets, you know, easy, easy stuff. But yeah, if you've never crocheted, Try it out, because it's fun, and my phone is about to fall over. <laughs> I'm like, suddenly I can see more of me. Okay, hopefully that won't fall over. But anyway, that's what I picked up today. And for crocheting, I love to make stuff like this. I made this little pumpkin. So you can see all the little detail on it. I'm going to give it to my mom. Um, I've, I've actually made a couple of these. These are super easy. And you make the pumpkin first, and it's stuffed. It's got uh, fiber fill in it. And you just kind of shape it around, put the, uh, you know, pieces of yarn down the side, and then you do the, I think, yeah. No, I didn't stuff the, uh, the stem. But, you know, you, you make the stem, and then you sew it on, and, you know, super easy. But that's that. But my favorite thing to do is amigurumi. And I love making... Little animals. I absolutely love to do these, these little bunnies. This one is actually going to somebody. She doesn't know she's getting it yet, but this is going to be sent far, far away. And I think my phone is going to fall over again. Stop moving, phone. Oh, yeah, once I get my new camera up and running, ooh, that's a little too far. Once I get my new camera up and running, I will be filming on that. There we go. Anyway, yeah, so here's, here's one little bunny. How cute. And here's the white one. I haven't put the nose on the, the pink one yet. Very, very easy. You know, it's just super easy. Um, this little cat. I love these little guys. And you can find tons and tons of patterns for amigurumi, which is what this is when you crochet or, or knit animals. Um, and again, it's just stuffed with fiber fill. Just a little kitty. So I made that. This one I made not too long ago. Um, he still needs a nose and a mouth, but, um, I play a game called, man, ooh, it's still falling over. I play a game called Nico Atsume, and it's where you put food out and cats come to your yard, but somebody put up patterns for all the different kitties, and here's one of them. I made this last, yeah, last year. Um, I had it at a, a vendor event that I did. But again, just stuffed, and you see my real kitty back there. Is that? Nope, that's Onyx. That's Onyx. But yeah, he, he still needs a, a nose, and his head is kind of a little crooked. <laughs> this one was kind of hard to sew on because you make the body first, and then you make the, the legs and sew them on the tail, and then you know the head is separate, and you have to make the ears. And So Amikurumi is, some of it is really easy, like, this, this kitty was super easy. It, it's all one piece except for the tail. This was several pieces. And the pieces are all easy to do, but sewing it together is the hardest thing for me because you've got these little tiny pieces. Actually, the ears weren't bad, but the, the tail was kind of hard to sew on because it's stuffed, so it's stiff. And uh, you can kind of maneuver it and do it, you know, kind of curl it a little. 
but you know the smaller pieces are the ones that get me <laughs> and my phone is still moving I apologize for this let's see if I can yeah it's still moving anyway um, but yeah, but that's what I do. I love to crochet. Um, you know, like I said, my grandmother taught me how when I was about seven, and I've been doing it ever since. I think that's about as good as that's going to get. But yeah, if you've never crocheted, I highly recommend it. It is totally addictive. I absolutely love it. I'm one of those people that I cannot sit still. I have to constantly be doing something. So I did that. Um, I've got a couple drawings that I've been working on. And uh, I'll show you those in my next video, um, which will probably be, I'll probably make another one tomorrow and show you some of the artwork I've been doing. Um, what's up, sweetie? Uh-oh. Coughing. <laughs> Gotta love cats. Anyway, uh, so that was pretty much it for today. Um, I've got some more crocheting to get done. Um, I have two otters that I made and, uh, well, I have to stuff them and sew them together. But I've got those all crocheted. I've got two other things that I need to finish. Um, I've got a ton of pet beds that are just about finished. So I'm, I'm getting there. And um, so I will uh, show you a bunch of those tomorrow or Monday. I'll try to make another video tomorrow, but it will probably be Monday. So um, don't hold me to that. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe because I need subscribers and you know, and I love subscribers. It gives me a reason to keep making videos and uh, let me know what you want to see and I will do what I can to do that. Um, forgive me. I have no makeup on today. It's, it's Saturday. I'm like, Neh. so yeah. So um, yeah, subscribe. And uh, if you want to know when I post a new video, hit the little bell and it'll notify you and you know, or you can just check back. doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.